Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here. Welcome back to another Cardano video. So when Sunday Swap, we finally have a date for Sunday Swap. Thursday, January 20th is when the DEX is going to go live on mainnet. Great to be at this stage finally. So what I'm going to do in this video is quickly take you through the article they put out yesterday, talk about the different dates and a little bit more on each of them, what they actually mean. There will be a few more videos over the next few days talking about things like being a liquidity provider, yield farming, all that type of stuff as well for people who want to do more than just swap tokens on day one of the decks as well. Also, there is now no taste test for the Sunday token. It will also go live on Thursday as well. So I'll talk about that when we get into the video. Apologies on the audio or lighting or anything like that that might be off in this video. I finally got into my new office, so I have a few things to work on to bring the videos up to scratch, but I thought this video just had to get out there. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know your own thoughts below and give the video a like if you're new as well. And let's get into the article. Okay, so when Sunday? Thursday is when Sunday. So this is the article that they put out. Key dates and takeaways. So Thursday, January 20th is when the DEX is going to go live. And as I said there, the taste test isn't going to happen. So the Sunday token is going to go live on Thursday as well. I think this is really going to bring a lot more people trying to jump in on the first few minutes of the decks as well, because before this, the taste test was going to happen and it was going to happen over 10 days. If you've seen a previous video, there's no point even getting, getting into the details of how it's going to work. But basically it was going to be 10 days before the Sunday token started to trade, but that has now changed. So on Thursday, the Sunday token will be available. So if you have ADA, you'll be able to go in and buy the Sunday token as well. So my inbox has been flooded as well with messages since this announcement has come out. So I'll talk about some of the common ones there as well. The date for the ISO to start, you need to be delegated to an ISO pool by January 25th if you want to earn Sunday Swap tokens. And the Sunday Swap tokens are going to be in addition to the ADA that you normally earn. So my pool or me as an SPO was voted in to be part of the ISO. So that means that both of my pools, Paul and Paul One, will be a part of the ISO. So if you're delegating to either of them, you will still get your ADA rewards as normal and you will also qualify to earn Sunday Swap tokens. Now, the Sunday Swap tokens won't be airdropped into your wallet. What will happen is there will be a portal that you will have to log into and actually claim the tokens. So as soon as that comes available, I will do a tutorial of me claiming my own first rewards from that as well, just to show people how to do it. And I've got lots of questions as well on the wallets and what wallets are going to qualify for it. So currently CC Vault and NAMI are the ones integrated with Sunday Swap. I know they've used a private build of Uroi. So as soon as Uroi brings out the functionality to mainnet, for interacting with dApps, then Uroi will be supported as well. Uroi did bring some update out last week where they needed more permissions. So I do think the functionality for interacting with dApps is coming out very, very soon. I would expect it within the next week or so. In terms of Daedalus, Daedalus, I don't know when they're going to have the functionality to interact with dApps. When you want to claim your Sunday Swap tokens, you do have a minimum of 12 months. So they've said they will give at least 12 months for people to be able to claim the tokens. So there's no rush that you have to be in to claim them within a certain epoch or anything like that. For Daedalus, if you're happy to wait, that's fine. You can keep waiting. You will earn your Sunday Swap tokens for staking through Daedalus, but it's just a claim process. You might be able to do it through Daedalus for a while. If you want to do it quicker than that, what you can do is restore the exact same wallet into something like CC Vault or Uroi using your seed phrase. Or if you use a hardware wallet, it's very easy to connect that up to multiple different wallets. For me, I have my hardware wallets connected up to Uroi, Daedalus and CC Vault and the exact same wallet works in all of them and it works at the same time. It gives me the exact same wallet because realistically your private keys are just your key into it all of the information always stays on the blockchain. So you can just access that same wallet from any of these different, different wallet platforms. So on Thursday, we're also going to get yield farming for Sunday rewards. So I'm going to do a dedicated video talking about yield farming and how all of that works. But essentially on a very high level, with a DEX, with an AMM DEX, which Sunday Swap is going to be, you can provide liquidity. You can set up a liquidity pool 
or you can provide liquidity into a pool by basically putting in ADA and Sunday into the contract. What you get back is what's called an LP token, which is a liquidity provider token. And then for yield farming, you'll be able to stake that LP token and earn extra rewards on top of that. But I'll cover all of that in a separate video. The important thing here is the details of when things go live and the ISO for people who want to get involved as well. So when Sunday, that's just saying about January 20th. On Tuesday, January 18th, the projects will be able to, now this is a little bit blurry, but you can see here that the DEX opens for project pool creation on the 18th. No one here probably has to worry about that. That is just projects that will be trading on the DEX. So they'll be able to start creating their liquidity pools on the 18th and then trading will begin on the 20th. What else do we have here? So participants for the ISO. So we've already talked about that. I'll put the link down below. One of the best places actually to check all of the different pools that are included is over on Pool Peak. They have a list of all the different pools that qualify for the Sunday Swap ISO. People ask, are my pools full as well? Currently, they're around 58 and 59 million. Saturation is at 67. So still lots of room there for anyone else who wants to join. Looking down here then, the ISO. So the ISO, the way it's working is it's going to run for five epochs. And every epoch, there's going to be 1% of the Sunday Swap supply is going to be distributed to everyone in the ISO pools. So people have been asking what is, how many Sunday are they going to get for staking certain amounts, but nobody actually knows that yet because there's going to be the 1% split over everyone that is within the ISO pools for that specific epoch. Now they are having whale measures in place as well. So it means that people who have a few million ADA, they're not going to get the same ratio of Sunday to ADA. It will start to get smaller as the numbers get bigger. So again, once the ISO starts, we might start to be able to figure out what that formula is and we'll take a look at that once we see the first rewards come out. And I'll also do that tutorial showing people how to claim their Sunday tokens as well. So for how the ISO, so again, people know that by this stage for yield farming, I'm going to do the specific video on that, but the four assets that you're going to have there first are Sunday ADA, LQ ADA, which is liquid, WMT ADA, which is World Mobile, and Cards ADA. So there is something here. Sunday Swap have this section here, which I'll leave a link to down below. And in the next video, I will go through that probably tomorrow, talking about the ins and outs of yield farming on Sunday Swap. Taste test, we talked about that. Beta, so they're going live as a beta. They're putting it into a beta stage because this is the first release of the DEX. How fast will the DEX be? We've talked about this in previous videos. There was actually some good information brought out over the last few days as well about the scaling that, Sun, or that Cardano is going to have. Because look, the Cardano blockchain right now is fairly full as it is. When something like Sunday Swap goes live, then that's going to take it to another level altogether. So within the first few days of Sunday Swap, there's going to be a lot of delayed transactions. It's inevitable when you look at the parameters around Cardano. So <clears throat> I would say expect a bit of FUD in around that in when people outside just start to see things slow down. But when you start to look into what is coming, there is lots of solutions there as well. It was talked about in the mid-month update. I'm going to keep all of that in a separate video. I'll do one dedicated to the scaling solutions that are coming for Cardano. And again, that will come out in the next few days as well. Okay, I hope I have covered the main parts here and the main questions that I have been getting. As a very quick summary, going live the 20th of January, you have to be delegated to an ISO pool by the 25th of January if you want to be included in the ISO. And then there will be a claim portal to be able to go in and claim the Sunday Swap tokens. I'll have the tutorial when I'm claiming my own as well. So expect that maybe five, five, six days after the ISO begins, I should be able to go in and claim once the first epoch finishes. On how fast transactions will be, anyone using the testnet right now sees that generally in around a minute to two minutes, transactions are complete. The swap is done. When we go live on Thursday, I would expect that to first few transactions will go through very quickly but the blockchain will start to reach its capacity as people just try to pile into this. It's like the NFT drops. When they happen, you see the initial surge. And then over the few days, things will 
just flatten out and the improvements are coming increased block size is coming very soon as well i think in january we're going to see another block increase as well as a new node version that came out a few days ago these are all helping the network perform better so we'll dig into all of that type of stuff in the next few videos if you haven't subscribed please do so got some value from this please share it out there give the video a like and i will talk to you guys very soon thanks for watching